So by now, you've likely already heard the news that Google Photos, starting in 2021, about the middle of the year, will no longer have the feature of being able to upload all of your images in high quality, even though that's compressed in high quality for unlimited storage. That unlimited storage feature is going away next year, at least as far as right now. There's been a lot of backlash from the community, so Google may change their mind on certain aspects of this change, but it's certainly a push to get more people into the monthly subscription of Google One. So with that said, I wanted to show you a feature that will help whenever that new change goes into effect because what Google is doing is they are making it to where our online storage, I believe it's 15 gigabytes for your Google account, will now work across Google Photos, Google Slides, Google Docs, all of those Office apps on top of your Google Drive uh, storage. They will all count toward the same pool. It's a lot. You're getting 15 gigabytes. I'm not going to complain about that. But this change is going into effect. And I know that there are a lot of people who are or who have used Google Photos and have uploaded images in original quality, which if you're not on a Pixel device like this, means that that picture is going to take up space in your overall Google account storage. So as a tool, Google has added a feature to the Google Photos um, website. It's actually not in the application. You have to go to the website, at least right now. Google will probably push out an application update to add in this button next to that buy 100 gigabytes button. But as of right now, it is not available in the app. So Google has actually added in a way for us to take all of the images that is currently taking up space on our Google Photos account and compress them to high quality so that that, that image is no longer taking up space for your Google Photos account. And this will work for videos as well. If you've uploaded videos through Google Photos and just by chance you told it to upload it in original quality, then it's going to be taking up a space in your Google Photos account. So to fix this, we have to actually get out of here and we need to open up Chrome. You can do this on the desktop if you want. It's no longer needed anymore. But we can open up Chrome and we go to the website photos.google.com slash settings and I'll have this linked in the video description. But you could also just go to the Google Photos account in a web browser and then go into the settings by bringing out the overflow menu right there. And as soon as you get into the settings page of your Google Photos on the web, again, remember this buy 100 gigabytes button, now is accompanied by a recover storage button. And all I have to do is tap on that recover storage button. You're going to be told how much storage you're, you're going to be able to save by doing this. So it turns out I have uploaded 10.4 megabytes of images or photos. That currently is taking up space in my Google Photos account. So in preparation of that new change that's coming up next year, I'm going to go ahead and compress that so that those files are no longer taking up space on that Google Photos account and then I won't have to deal with it. I won't have to bother with it whenever that change goes into effect. So we just press compress the two times and then Google Photos will do the work in the background. You don't have to stay on this website if you don't want to. Again, it just depends on how much data Google needs to compress. But once we actually tell Google Photos to do that, we could just tap the home button to go back to the home screen 
and Google will do that in the cloud. So there you have it. That is how to take all of the original quality photos and videos that you have uploaded and compress them so that they no longer take up space on your Google account.